two great apostles of the church dear friends in Christ Jesus welcome to a short reflection on solemnity of saints peter and paul apostles today we celebrate the solemnity of the two great apostles of the church peter and paul one denied christ while the other persecuted the church but once they encountered the risen lord they gave up their past life and embraced him and in him they found new life both worked tirelessly to spread the gospel to all nations proving their great love for christ by dying as martyrs for the faith dear friends today's gospel presents the granting of the keys of the kingdom of heaven to peter by jesus first the lord changed the apostle's name he was no longer to be called simon but peter because as the name signifies he was to be the rock upon which christ would build his church christ compares peter to a rock because he must have the strength of faith fit to be the foundation of his church thus the image of rock illustrates the primacy of peter and his successors the popes of the roman catholic church peter and all the popes enjoy primacy because they govern the roman catholic church which has four essential characteristics of its identity that encompass the mind of christ for it one holy catholic and apostolic it is indeed the one church united under its sole founder and head christ the lord who chose peter to represent him after he proclaimed his faith you are the christ the son of the living god dear friends today's feast in honor of these two great apostles should motivate encourage in us the great joy and gratitude to god for calling us to be part of the church established by his son and sanctified by his holy spirit we are all familiar with paul formally referred to before and in the early days of his conversion as Saul a zealous Jew who approved of the martyrdom of Stephen and then went on to relentlessly persecute the fledgling church until when on the road to Damascus he fell off his horse met the risen lord and was led physically blinded and spiritually confused into the very city he intended to enter with power and authority but once he regained his sight of body and spirit and realized that it was the lord that he was persecuting he was never the same again for him all that was true valuable and necessary in life was the person of jesus christ it is no longer i who live but christ who lives in me and the life i now live in the flesh i live by faith with the son of god who loved me and gave himself up for me galatians 2:20 dear friends paul gave himself totally to the spread of the gospel he was unconcerned about himself and suffered all kinds of trials and sufferings who shall separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or hunger or nakedness or danger or the sword romans 8:5 yes dear friends peter and paul were the instruments chosen by god who lived not for themselves but for jesus christ but for jesus christ alone both were sinners chosen by the lord for very special missions peter to be the first pope and the rock upon which the church was to be built and paul to be the apostle to the gentiles and both these apostles knew that jesus spared nothing in his love for them and for all men and they also felt compelled to give themselves for their brethren in the church both were martyrs for the faith and both spoke boldly for christ as they knew that they had to obey god rather than men dear friends we should imitate these holy apostles in their zeal for the faith and then we will rejoice with them 
considering the sufferings of this life as nothing in comparison to the great reward promised to those who love and serve God and the whole humanity. Wishing you all a very happy feast. May God bless all of us. Amen.